Welcome to Miniorange. Miniorange provides single sign-on solutions for Confluence Marketplace and as we know that is the best OAuth and OpenID SSO solution available in the market. So, in this video, we are going to set up Confluence single sign-on with ADFS using OpenID protocol. Let's get started with the setup. Go to the Confluence dashboard and click on the setting icon on the top right corner and select Manage Apps option. Go to Find New Apps. You can search here for add-ons in Atlassian Marketplace. Go to the Search tab and type OAuth SSO and press Enter. To download the plugin click on Free Trial. Click on Accept and Install to agree with Miniorange policy and terms of use. After successful installation, use the license key to activate the plugin. And after activation of the license key, click on Miniorange OAuth Client. Now you are on Configure OAuth tab. We will be covering ADFS setup here. You can also go through the setup on this guide. Here you will get step-by-step -step instructions. So, firstly we are configuring ADFS as OpenID provider. Log in to your ADFS server and go to Server Manager Dashboard. Go to Tools on the upper right corner and select ADFS Management. Go to Application Groups. Click on Add Application Group from the Actions bar on the right. Enter your application name. Under Standalone Application, select Server Application. Click on Next. You will find the Client Identifier. Copy it. Paste the copied Client Identifier in the Client ID in the plugin. You will find the Callback Redirect URI in the plugin, which is used to tell the OAuth provider where to send the token after authentication. Copy it and paste it in the given field. Click on Add. Click on Next. Check on Generate a Shared Secret to get the client secret. Copy it and paste it in the client secret in the plugin. Click on Next. On the Summary screen, click on Next. On the Complete screen, click on Close. Now, right-click on the newly added application group and select Properties. Click on Add Application. Select Web API and click on Next. On the Configure Web API screen, enter the Confluence domain name address as the identifier. Click on Add. Click on Next. On the Choose Access Control Policy screen, select Permit Everyone and click on Next. On the Configure Application Permission, by default OpenID will be selected as a scope. Click on Next. On the Summary screen, click on Next. On the complete screen, click on Close. On the Confluence OAuth Properties screen, click on OK. Now let's configure Confluence as OAuth Client. Go to Configure OAuth tab. As earlier we have selected ADFS as an application, and we had received the client ID and client secret while configuring the OpenID provider. Enter the scope as OpenID for authentication. Enter ADFS domain name in the plugin. Click on Save. Click on Test Configuration. You can see successful test configuration here, along with the email ID. After successful test connection, you will get the CSSO button on the Confluence login page now. Click on Use OAuth Login button and you will be redirected to ADFS login page for OAuth authentication. Now enter your ADFS credentials and click on Sign In button, you will be successfully logged into your Confluence dashboard using ADFS credentials. Go to the User Profile to check the user data, and you will find user's email ID here. Miniorange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.